Hello, 大家好 I'm Grace. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some daily Chinese sentences that are often misunderstood and teach you the extra meanings of words that you might have always wondered about. 我们开始吧 Let's directly cut to the chase. Take a guess. What does the following sentence mean? 多穿一点，别给我感冒了。多穿一点，别给我感冒了。This means put on some more clothes. Don't catch a cold. Some of you may have interpreted the sentence as "Don't give me your cold" because of the "gei wo." But "gei wo" in this context actually doesn't mean "give me" or "to me." It's an adverb used in imperative sentences to strengthen the commanding tone. So adding "gei wo" in imperative sentences will make you sound quite bossy. People often use it when they are feeling impatient or angry. For example, "Ni go kuo." Compared with 你过来，你给我过来 sounds much more bossy and commanding. Here are some other examples. 你给我滚，去我家！你给我滚出去！你无耻到极点！你滚！你给我滚！你给我滚！阿婆是不是在忙？我去帮他。给我坐下。你给我坐下。你给我坐下。对啊。你给我闭嘴！不要念了，什么都不要做了。你给我闭嘴！你给我闭嘴！你给我闭嘴 ！But when you command others out of love, wanting to protect them, or out of a desire to cheer them up, you can also use 给我 in imperative sentences to sound bossy and show that you care a lot. For example, like in the first sentence I mentioned, 多穿一点，别给我感冒了。多穿一点，别给我感冒了。Some other examples: 小心点，别给我受伤了。小心点，别给我受伤了。小心点，别给我受伤了。振作一点，别给我垂头丧气的。振作一点，别给我垂头丧气的。振作一点，别给我垂头丧气的。哎、欸，你吃很久，要走了啦，给我快点吃。Give me it. But noted that "gei wo" in imperative sentences can also mean "give me to me" or "for me." For example, "gei wo yi bei shui." "Gei wo yi bei shui." "Gei wo yi bei shui." "Give me a cup of water." Hmm. "Gei wo mai zhang piao ba." "Gei wo mai zhang piao ba." "Gei wo mai zhang piao ba." "Buy a ticket for me." So, how to interpret the meaning of "gei wo" in imperative sentences depends on its context. But now you know that it might just be for adapting a commanding tone and not use its literal meaning. Okay, now let's move on to the next sentence. This should not be known. This should not be known. Means I don't think anyone knows this. You may have learned "ingai" as "should" in English, and that's correct. For example, you can say "You should find a better job." You should find a better job. You should find a better job. But in Chinese, the use of "ingai" is a bit broader than English "should." For example, in this sentence. 这应该没有人知道。The 应该 is used to express your inference. So in English, it would be translated into probably, I think, or most likely. Let's see some more examples of this usage. 明天应该会下雨。明天应该会下雨。明天应该会下雨。他应该不在家。他应该不在家。
，他应该不在家。我应该在哪里看过他？我应该在哪里看过他？我应该在哪里看过他？ Okay, now let's move on to the final sentence for today. 你人来就好，还带什么礼物？你人来就好，还带什么礼物？ So, 还带什么礼物 in this context means you don't have to bring gifts. I guess you might be wondering the meaning of 还 in this sentence. You might have learned that 还 has the meaning of still or also. So some people might interpret 还带什么礼物 as what other gifts did you bring? Hi, hi. 你人来就好，还带什么礼物？还带什么礼物 ？What else gift did I bring? 我我还带了苹果、酒、香水。In this sentence, "high" doesn't mean still or also. It's simply added into sentences to express that something is different than expected. So, 你人来就好，还带什么礼物 means that the speaker expect you to just bring yourself, but not any gifts. But usually, these kinds of words are just pleasantries.、Huh? Don't take it too seriously. It's better that you still give the gifts. Now let's see some more examples with this high. 他还真的说到做到。他还真的说到做到。他还真的说到做到。He actually did what he said. 没想到追剧追了一天，还蛮累的。没想到追剧追了一天，还蛮累的。没想到追剧追了一天，还蛮累的。I didn't realize that I can get this tired after a day of binge watching. 哎，你知道 Grace 的影片很棒吗？那还用说？哎，你知道 Grace 的影片很棒吗？哎，你知道 Grace 的影片很棒吗 ？Hey, did you know that Grace's videos are so awesome? 那还用说？那还用说 ？It goes without saying. 那还用说 ？It's a common colloquial expression. 那 means that. 用 here means to need or to have to, and 说 means to say or to talk. So without 还 in this sentence, the literal meaning is that needs to be talked about. However, adding high shows that it's different than expected, so we don't need to talk about it at all because it's so obvious. So this expression, 那还用说 means it goes without saying. 那还用说？那还用说？ Okay, that's all for today. If you found today's video helpful and would like to support me in continuing to create more content, please visit my Ko-fi page. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much. And also, if you want to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. 还有，不要忘记帮我按赞、订阅和分享哦。那我们下次见喽，拜拜。